okay, well here's the honest truth. Do not watch this video if you want to learn how to paint poinsettias. Do not. I am not the guy who is going to show you how to make the best poinsettias. There are a lot of artists out there, men and women, who probably are offering YouTube videos that will show you how to paint poinsettias way better than I did. So, oh my gosh. Uh, I, I made a promise when I first started doing these videos that I would show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hmm. This actually falls into the okay category. It's not really that bad, but I know that there are other artists who do videos on YouTube who are way better at certain things than I am. I am not good at flowers. I just am not good at close-ups of flowers. James Gurney, he's really good. I don't know if he's done a video specifically about poinsettias, but maybe he has. But there are others and they are so good. So if you want a video that will teach you how to paint poinsettias to look really, really good, just turn this one off and go find somebody else, okay? If you wanna hang out with me and paint, that's kind of what I do anyway. I don't, I don't really profess to be a teacher. I don't even profess to be an artist. I'm just having fun. I'm a retired, can I say old man? I'm a retired, old, I hate saying that though. It's just, I, I hate admitting, confessing that I'm an old man. <sighs> but what am I gonna do? Right, God made me, I was born in 1955, so that makes me an old man. Well, hey, I should, I should be grateful. I should be very grateful that I got to live this long. You know, I really am grateful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry, I'm so grateful. I'm not being silly there. I really felt a little bit of emotional well up. But guess what? <laughs> if you're here to learn how to point, paint the points that, yeah, it's not, not gonna be here. But you know what you can do? You can get yourself a cup of coffee. <laughs> get out your brushes, paint. That's kind of what I like anyway. I like just painting with other people. Robin and I paint. Maybe we should paint later on. Maybe we should do a live one. But this is my last card. I had to order some more. But, all right, enough chatter. You're probably not watching any longer anyway. Hey, if you're still here, why are you here? You're not here to learn how to paint a poinsettia. I know that. You know what I learned? The leaves on the poinsettia are the same exact shape as the red flower because the red flower is not a flower. The red flower is a leaf. These are the flowers, the things in the middle. What? God is amazing. He's a He's, he's laughing right now. He's saying, Larry, 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 oh, Papa, Papa. I don't think he calls me Papa. No. Maybe he does. Maybe God does call me Papa. Huh, I never thought of that. My grandson calls me Papa. There's something I'm grateful for, someone. I am so grateful that I got to be a Papa. I really am. Am I talking too much? All right, let me show you how I did this. I'm not sure why you want to watch it, but it was it was fun. Maybe, I don't think I'll ever do another poinsettia card, but maybe, you never know. Never say never. All right, here we go. Okay, let's have some fun with this one. Um, the idea is to do poinsettias or poinsettias. I never know how to really pronounce that word. And the poinsettia is red and green, mostly, with some little yellow circles in the middle. And I think I will not sketch it with pencil, but rather, let's do the whole thing. Hmm, let's do, let's sketch the whole thing first with paint. Well, let's just sketch one part at a time with paint. How about that? So I'm learning at the same time you are. So the first thing is red. I'm gonna do a couple of red groups. Now, what is it? What did, what did I say about poinsettias? They're 
the red is actually the leaf. It's the same thing as the, as the right? The leaf and the and the petals are the same thing. It's, I don't know if I have that right or not. Okay, so they just basically go like that. Right? I just have a, a little shape like that, right? And in the middle is going to be some yellow things. And I think these are the actual flowers. I think so. I'm not sure about that. I'm not a botanist. A botanist. I'm not a, a botanist. Alright, so there's there's that. Let's just go ahead and do a few of these. We'll kind of kind of do them the way we used to do daisies when we were a kid. Just just make the petals and then come back and make the petals that go underneath it. So I think that's how I'll do this one. This kind of <laughs> sketch with paint <coughs> because when I sketch with pencil. I know you can use watercolor pencil and that will that will uh, dissolve under the water which is good too and so will the watercolor itself I hope hope I got this all right I have said this over and over again that in doing these videos I am learning as much as you are it's it's kind of an experiment the whole thing is an experiment for me a big old big long experiment over a year now doing these videos can you believe it all right one more over here i think i'll call that all the leaves on the, all the petals on this one all right now it has um it has like white little veins in it so I'm going to try to make the the veins just leave the the white from the paper showing. Let's just see how this works out. Let's see if I can do this and make it look reasonable. Some of you probably are really good at this already. So I'm a newcomer when it comes to poinsettias. I'm actually a newcomer when it comes to all close-ups of botany things, plants. I've watched uh, James Gurney. I, I don't know if you know James Gurney. You probably do if you're a YouTube watcher. Uh, he is so incredible. I, I just think he's amazing. He was friends with Thomas Kincaid, another artist who I greatly admired. And he can sit with his little easel and sit outside with um, looking at a plant up close and, 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 and nail it it seems like every single time so he is truly incredible and his story and his friendship with Thomas Kincaid is pretty remarkable too um, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not but it doesn't look right to me <laughs> Maybe maybe the vein isn't white in the end, so it's just white in the middle. Well, I'll go to the second one differently. I think. Maybe I'll use white gouache for the for the middle. What do you think? Alright, let me let me try a different approach to this one. I'm just gonna I think I'm just going to do the middle. And then to make it like darker in the shadows, I'll, I'll add some green. Isn't that ironic that the green will make the red look darker? And the red will make the green look darker when we get to that. That's an interesting thought. I hope, I hope I got that right. All right, just keep going. It's, it's sort of kind of looking. <laughs> Whoa, there's, there's a loud one already. The loud cars come out early. That might have been a motorcycle. So anyway, how you guys doing? 
Yeah, James Gurney is one of my all-time favorites. I, I One time I did a video where I talked about all of the YouTube artists that I admire. James Gurney is at the top of the list. Um, Andrew Tischler. Oh my gosh, have you watched Andrew Tischler? Yes, he's amazing. Um, who else do I like a lot? Nathan F Nathan Falx. Do you know Nathan Falx? Yeah, he's amazing too. Very, very amazing artist. Um, who else do I watch? I, I when I did the video with with this as the subject, I had a list in front of me of the different artists who I watch on YouTube and who I admire. But there are some really good pastel artists. There's a, a lady whose channel is called The Monet Cafe, and she's super, super good. Absolutely. I love pastel. My problem with pastel is, of course, you, you can smear it. See, now these ones are looking good. I'm, I'm not so sure about the first one I did. Maybe I should just get rid of the, the white. Um, maybe that was a little bit too too much overkill. Yeah, Cafe uh, Monet Cafe. She's really super good. I wish I knew her actual name. I'm sure. I'm sure when I watch it, I know it because I always look to see what is this person's name. Um, another good one is Lee Lee White. Do you watch Lee White? Lee White's with the. Uh, Jake Parker and uh, Will Terry, the three of them do podcasts and stuff, and they're very good. They're all very good, different styles, but they're all very super talented. Mm. Who else do I watch? It's hard for me to think when I, when I don't have it in front of me. But anyway, yeah, I think the idea of putting that middle vein and keeping it white. I think I like that idea better than trying to do all, all the exterior, what would you call those other veins? The veins that go from the middle to the edge. I could do, perhaps I could do them darker. Hmm, that's an idea. Well, I'm learning. I'm a learner here. How would Andrew Tischler do this? Oh, Andrew Tischler would make this look like a flower. They just picked out of the garden. <laughs> He's so realistic looking. Um, some of the ones from the past, you know, some of the classic artists that I like. I do like Monet, and I do like um, uh, Vincent Van Gogh. I really do. I like their work. And of course Rembrandt, but Rembrandt is <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'll ever be able to match his style or any of them really. And nor should I. And I don't know if you are a fan of uh, Norman Rockwell, but I am. I like Norman Rockwell. So that's all there is to that. I like him. My mother actually met him. That's not why I like him though, but yeah, she was, when she was a teenager, she used to, my, her father used to, my grandfather used to send her to uh, Vermont so she wouldn't get in trouble in the Bronx. <laughs> she would stay at, at a friend's home that had turkeys. She would always tell these turkey farm stories. And it was up somewhere in that where uh, Norman Rockwell lived. And so when she was a teenage girl, she met Norman Rockwell. And I guess he was already well known at that time, doing the covers for the Saturday Evening Post, etc. Um, I know people consider him an illustrator, but what a great illustrator, huh? One of the best, one of the best, probably one of the most. A, attempted to be copied. 
And then, of course, there's Bob Ross. How could you forget Bob Ross? Bob Ross was better than the TV show makes him out to be because the TV show, all those paintings he did in a half hour, or more accurately, 27 minutes, because they had to have room for the bumpers on each side of it. I don't think they, I don't think they had ads because it was PBS, but, but they had bumpers, you know. I call TV shows to have a little extra room. But his yeah, his paintings were done in that half hour time frame, and and his other the work they didn't do on camera is fabulous as well. All right, well there's one. Should I do more than one? I think I. You know what I'll do? I'll put like a hint of one over here, coming across the card. So, we'll just make one over here. Yeah. yeah this one doesn't have to be complete because it'll be at the back of the card. darker shades in just a little bit. One of the mistakes I think I make a lot is in trying to not make mistakes. I don't know if that sounds unusual, but I think a big mistake is trying to not make mistakes. Now, so, so what am I saying? Like, go ahead and allow mistakes? Not really. I'm not really saying that. What I'm really saying is don't worry about them too much. Try, I guess, I guess you should try not to make mistakes. You know, try to get it right, of course. But then, don't worry about it too much because I don't want you to throw it away. I've thrown some paintings away. My, my promise to you when I first started doing this channel, my promise was to um, show you everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I have done my share of that, oh my gosh. If I look back on this channel and I look at some of the art I did, you know, there's some real whoppers. This might end up being a whopper. This might be one of them. I hope not. I hope this one comes out all right. Well, I did an art show at a local gallery and um, people came to see the art and they were chatting with me. And I told the the visitors, I told them that um, every everything I do has an ugly stage, and it's really true. All the art has an ugly stage. All right, now I gotta make sure this is dry before I put any paint next to it. I'm gonna try and do a leaf now. Let's see. I think these leaves, I don't know if these leaves have little points on them or not. I'm not really sure. Okay, so I should have sketched this one out first. Let me do it and have the rest of it. 
I don't know. I'm looking at a reference photo. I'm trying to decide if this reference photo is like AI or something. Cause I just I just put in I googled it. I put um poinsettia and I picked one out. And now I'm thinking maybe this isn't a real photo. Cause aren't these leaves supposed to be the same shape as the as the plant as the as the the red isn't the aren't the green leaves supposed to be the same shape as the red leaves? You know what? Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it again. See if I can find another picture. Let's see. Let's look for it. Poinsettia. P o i n s e t t i a. All right, here we go. Let's get a botanical look at one of these things. Yeah, they don't have pokies on them. Oh my gosh. Let me, let me do a screen grab of this one. I will put this on the video. I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait until uh, I'm done videotaping it. But from your perspective, it'll be on a B-roll. Oh my gosh, yes, there's no points on them. I don't know. See, this, this is what happens when you use AI. See, the leaves are the same shape. The leaves are the same shape as the plant, as the colored part, that's what I'm trying to say. They're all rounded because they're all leaves. That's why there's no points on them. It's not like ivy. I'm glad I thought about that. So you don't gotta do that those pointy things. Let me smooth that out here. So these are really it's all the same thing. The red and the green are the same exact shape. What do you know about that? Well that makes it easy. Yeah, I think I think the the photograph I'm looking at is really a photograph. I I got fooled by AI. Wow, should I? Maybe I should call the video that I got fooled by AI. The point that uh, is the leaves are the same shape and size. Papa, make it the same size. Don't make it so small. Yeah, same size, same shape. How do you know about that? See, I learned something today. You know, I actually knew that the uh, the red part of the poinsettia was um, what do you want to say? The, the red part was also leaves. The, the actual flower is the yellow part in the middle. I learned that somewhere. Somebody told me that. I think in the green leaves, though, you can see the, these white veins that are in it. Yeah, I like the fact that the watercolor kind of does its own thing. Yeah, just remind me when I'm done to put this picture on the B-roll. Yeah, I still want to keep it light, loose and stuff. So. It's interesting, isn't it? They sell these everywhere. Like you go to every grocery store, they have poinsettias for sale. 
I don't know how the 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 like the the actual people who earn a living with flowers how they survive when the grocery stores are always underselling the the price. I don't know. Seems like they get they get thrown under the bus a little bit. They're competitors. It's hard to compete with a with a big box store. I would think. I mean, it looks like it's not easy. So now, as far as the paint, we're just trying to create a, a little bit of a composition here. And maybe what I'll do is that old trick of spritzing paint on the paper after it's done. Just give it that, you know, that haphazard look. I like that look sometimes. I think it'll work with this one. I like how this paint is just doing its own thing with the green. It's so much easier to do these leaves too without trying to do those green little pokey things on there. Yeah, it's very much like the way you did daisies when you were a kid, when you painted daisies or drew daisies. What do you call it? Is it variegated? Is it what they call it when a leaf has all these different colors in it? Okay, a couple more. One over here that's poking out from under it. I wanted this to be something that you could um, do whether you were an advanced artist or or just beginning. And I really think I mean that's a that's a weird thing to say advanced or beginning because you know I have been painting for all my life really, but I don't consider myself advanced because every subject is a new beginning. You know I haven't done poinsettias before. So I'm a beginning artist when it comes to this. And even even when I'm doing a portrait, I've done many, many portraits in my life. I don't know if you saw the last video I did where I was talking about the stuff I've done in the past, but I've done so many. But that doesn't mean I'm an expert at it. I don't think so. Because when I'm doing them, I'm still like nervous I'm going to get it wrong every single time. I'm always concerned that my skills aren't going to be good enough. And I just do it. Just do it. You know, I got some yesterday. I went Christmas shopping. And I bought some gift cards for my doctor. My doctors. I got more than one doctor. And I didn't know what to get them. Because, well, they're doctors. They got money, right? That's what the, that's the that's what we think anyway. But I wanted to get them something, so I got them gift cards to the Texas Roadhouse. You think they like them? <laughs> something to eat. Everybody likes going someplace to eat. Yeah, you know, it's not it's not much. It's probably enough for one and a menu items. I don't know. One and a half meals. It's only twenty five dollars, in other words. But. All right, now what I want to do, well, I want to put like a little stem or something going through there. I, I sort of see that in the other photo, so let me just put that in there. There's a little line. Well, 
little hint of, of some leaves some stems I don't really know that looks good I don't need to put any more all right but I do want to add some darkness to the the red and the, the green even though it kind of looks good right now doesn't it kind of looks good well, what I want to do for the green I'm going to use a darker green I'm just gonna kind of add it to the the areas that are kind of under the other leaves. Now you could darken it with red, but I'm a little bit nervous about doing that. One of the things I like that James Gurney does is he uses his colors and mixes his colors so that they uh, they're already well. And he's already so good at it, so but they have that already mixed look to them. A lot of times I mix them. If I'm doing like an acrylic painting or something, I'll actually mix it on the canvas. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that's what I do. I don't always mix it on the palette. I just want some different shades of green here in these leaves just to, uh, I guess it doesn't matter how you accomplish it as long as you accomplish it. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the final conclusion here. Like this one right here could be darker because it's underneath that one. See what I mean? So it's got a little bit of a shadow going on. And this one too. Well, they're really all underneath. It's kind of a fun, a fun subject. Is the point that I'm kind of having fun with this one. It's kind of looking really nice. Now I want to make the reds a little bit redder. I mean, a little bit darker. So maybe I'll use the same blue. That I'm using for the green. Let's see if that works. I'm not sure that works. Let me mix it in with the red a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh there's the there's the little veins looking things. Yeah. Oops. Just gotta keep it red, not blue. But I'm using blue. Just a little hint of it here and there. A little bit darker in the middle. Darker underneath. Let's see. Put some of the veins. Right, I just dipped my paint in the brown. I'm going to use that brown, I think, for some of these little areas here. Let me make it darker between the the berry-looking things, little flowers. Yeah, let me make that more exaggerated, more contrasted. There we go. And then that would make sense to put some here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the brown works out well, because brown is kind of a, a shade of orange, isn't it? I like the way that looks. Let me do it over here. Get, get it watered down a little bit. This is going to be behind the card anyway, but this part's on the top.
Okay. A little bit more red over here. I think I kind of like that. Now what I want to do is make a mess. I think, I hope this is a good idea. I don't know. But like what if I took just some water here. Just put some water, let's say. And then maybe dab a little bit of red in there, let it spread out. Let's, let's just let it spread out. Let's do the same thing over here. Let the water take the red and spread it out. <coughs> I guess I'm trying to create the illusion of <coughs> um, like out of focus. Like there's something behind it that's out of focus. That would also be red, you know. I don't know. Like I say, I'm experimenting. The whole thing is an experiment. Let me do one more over here. Just put some red in there. It's very light red. Oops. That's not light. That's very heavy. <laughs> working. Spread it out a little bit more. <coughs> it looks kind of nice. Just to give it some cohesion, a little bit of a, a little bit of an idea of a composition. I guess. All right, now I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to, I'm going to try this idea. Um, let's get some paint on one of these brushes. Let's get some red. And then, here we go. This is where we try our hand at creativity. Ready? Let's smack it. Ready? Oh, nothing's coming off. I guess I wasn't so daring. I gotta be more daring. All right, there's a lot of red down there now. Oh, oh, here it goes. <laughs> I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> looks like a mess. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the green. Do the same thing with the green. Just load up the paint with some green. And let's do it again. How come? How come it's not spreading? Okay, try it again. Green, come on, get all there. Make it wet and green. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> little spritzes, little spritzes here and there. Makes it look artsy, artsy fartsy. All right, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come right back. <laughs> okay, I probably won't ever do this again, but it was fun. Let me spread this one around. I don't like this one. That was a little bit too ugly. Spread it around. There we go. Let's touch it up a little bit. using a damp brush to just to add a little bit of texture I guess okay well, I guess I'm done I don't know if I like it to be honest with you but I'm gonna fold it and call it a card and 
Who knows? I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Did I mess it up with the spritzes? I don't know. But you know what? That was fun. I probably won't ever do that again. But that was a learning experience. And by the way, this is the last card I have. I don't have any more blanks. I ordered some, but they haven't arrived yet. So I don't know what I'm going to do after today until the new ones arrive. But there you go. You know what I would do if I were you? I would watch somebody else. Yeah, I don't think I'm the guy to show you how to paint poinsettias. But I did have fun doing it. But please, I hope I hope you don't think that I'm the guy to watch. I really think you could find somebody better than me for this particular subject. <laughs> did you have fun? That's the, that's the important part, right? All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.